Hey everyone, it's Heidi with the Osborne Experience. I'm going to show you what I think is the smartest Osborne Books and More new release of spring 2018. This is called Here and There. And it's not just a geography book or a sociology book. Um, this is a great book if you're trying to raise globally minded children to understand and respect differences in different cultures. So learn about people here, there, and everywhere. And it's a really big book with really awesome pictures. And it has an introduction about how um, different people in different places do different things. And so for instance, we're gonna start with buying groceries. And it talks about buying groceries in general, and then it talks about buying groceries in different places. Some really neat things about remote areas of the world, there are no grocery stores or markets, um, and farm farmers travel around with their carts, um, and they only visit like once a week, which blows kids' minds. You're like, what? Um, what's in store? And this is cool. So there is a North American, look at me, look how cool I look when I go grocery shopping. That's not what I look like, I'm all like sweatpants and boots. Um, and there is the Indonesian floating market where they um, buy from boats on a river. Uh, and it says at the floating markets, people buy, sell, or barter for everything they need. And there's all kinds of like little snippets of information. Um, that's really, really interesting. It goes on to talk about playing outdoors and what different children in different countries, how they play outdoors. Brazil, they talk about soccer and in Netherlands about bikes. Um, what else? Canada, it's very cold during the winter, but that doesn't stop people from playing outdoors and it talks about ice hockey being a favorite outdoor pastime. Um, in Canada and then it talks mo more specifically about Norway and Hong Kong again look at the little piece of, of information great stuff for your child to read themselves even then we talk about traveling to school That's interesting I guess we never really think about that we think about buses and trains um, this talks about um, in Ghana many children have to walk several miles across hot desert to get to class uphills both ways. Um, children in the UK are helped on their walk to school by grown-ups known as lollipop men or women who stand in the middle of busy roads holding a big sign that looks like a lollipop. So like crossing guards or whatnot. Isn't that lollipop? How funny. Um, and then it talks about Zambia and Japan and how they get to school in those places. Look how, look how cool. Look at that artwork. How beautiful is there's so much to look at while you're reading them. Um, all that awesome information that's really gonna sink in. We do this at bedtime. Um, so for instance, we'll do you know this page on traveling to school, and then we'll do um, the two page spread on the two different places. So my daughter's six. Um, so I think that's a great starting age for this book. This is really cool. Healthy eating. I got a picky eater. So it's fun to see um, what other people eat. Um, and then it talks about and it shows you school lunches from around the world. Now, North America's not in there. What do you think North America would be? Sloppy Joe? Like a chicken patty? Um, but look how cool that is. It shows you all of the different school lunches. And I like to talk about, like, would you eat that? What do you think that's like? Chores. Goes into the chores. And, um... Full-time job. Housework is so important in some countries that children, especially girls, will often miss school to do it. In Kenya, helping with chores, including fetching water, cleaning the house, cooking, and looking after younger brothers and sisters can take children over six hours a day. Um, and did you know that in Spain, it's not just good manners to help around the house. It's the law. Go Spain! Uh, the Spanish government passed a law in 2014 requiring children to do their homework help with chores and respect their parents. And this isn't just expected from children. Spanish marriage contracts state that both partners in a marriage have to do an equal share of work around the house. Uh. <laughs> so good. And so they talk about chores in Belgium and Uganda. What's next? New year, 
New Year all around the world. Look at all those broken plates. And then it talks about New Year in Colombia, the United States, Thailand, and China. Again, ugh, the illustrations are so glorious. Exercising in different countries. Talks about France, talks about Colombia. Um, it talks about in Colombia, the main roads are closed every Sunday so people can go running safely. And talks about Australia and Brazil and what they do for exercise. Nature, different places that they see nature. Jungle, green grass, snowy peaks, desert islands. <gasps> Look how pretty. Shows you different habitats in the different countries. Festivals, that's fun. Look at that. Oh, that Day of the Dead. Oh, what's that movie that we just saw? Crikey. I have no... Coco. Coco. Love that movie. I cried. I ugly cried three times during that movie. Silent ugly crying, but ugly crying nonetheless. And then talks about India, Italy, Iran, and Burma and their festivals. Getting around. So not just getting to school, but getting around. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And then in Germany and Vietnam, getting around through a window and how the views are different out of their homes and what they see in a city um, versus um, country, Bangladesh and the Netherlands. I mean, our children, obviously, most of them probably don't get to go these places when they're little or even when they're growing up. Um, and they probably don't see a lot of them on TV or on show. So this is amazing, amazing. Um, so that they're not so close minded about the world, that it's not just in the United, you know, people don't just live in the United States and it's not just one way. Um, and that all these beautiful, wonderful things are happening um, all around the world. So it talks about um, the illustrator, this book is only $12.99 for all of this goodness. You can get this book and more at my website, www.theusbornexperience.com. And you can find me at The Usborn Experience with Heidi on Facebook. Thanks.